One of the biggest mistakes employers make when they hire new people is to set the tone uh, intentionally from day one of what the culture in their business is like. And so as a contractor, if you're having a hard time finding people and retaining people and scaling your team over time, if there seems to be like this revolving door, then I want you to take a step back and just go back to the very beginning when somebody joins your team. What process do you have in place? that onboards them in a way that they feel respected, they feel like there's a future in this business, they feel like, man, you got your shit together here, okay? Because winners don't want to hang out somewhere where they don't see that there's a clear path to continue winning, all right? So things like, who's going to be my point person if I have questions about how things operate around here? You know, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable? A day one of the job, you know, my trainings that we do, my workshops and things like that, I do on culture, culture workshops, we, um, we talk about what does the first day look like for an employee? I know back in the early days of my businesses, when I would hire an employee, they would show up on the day and the time that I told them to show up. And sometimes I was like, oh crap, you're starting today, <laughs> okay? It was like an afterthought. So make sure that you're setting the stage from, from day one. Share in the comments below, uh, maybe some of the things that you do to welcome on your new hires, to set the tone properly for the type of culture that you want to build. And maybe, uh, or, or in the comments below, share what your biggest struggle is when you bring somebody in. Maybe you don't know what to do. What should that outline look like and things like that. So uh, do that in the comments. I'd be curious to see how you all handle this, this issue in your business because I really believe that if you start the right way, um, it communicates some really good things to people who can end up being with you for the long haul. They can have a future and some growth in your company. And with that, you'll have more people out on the, in the field doing projects, bringing in higher profits, and building the type of brand that you want to build. So for more stuff like this tip that I just gave you guys on building your team, hit the link down below, okay? Thecontractorfight.com slash accelerate. Check out our Accelerate program because we do a lot of training like this on a weekly basis, various topics to help you grow a stronger business. We'll see you next time on The Fight.